One of the most controversial and successful TV hosts, Wendy Williams, rose to fame as a radio host in the early 90s, and since 2008, when she became the creator and host of an American talk show called The Wendy Williams Show. Wendy Williams successfully ran the show for 12 seasons. There have been controversies and numerous backlashes within these 12 seasons, with Wendy being at both the giving and receiving end. Amidst the constant backlash, there were calls for her show to be cancelled, and it just might be. Recently, Wendy has come out to reveal why she won't be returning to her show. So what did she say? Find out everything about Wendy Williams' show, and more, in today's video. The show's season 13 premiere was previously delayed from its original return date, September 20th after Wendy Williams was tested positive for COVID-19 amid other ongoing health issues. In a statement that was posted to the Instagram page, Williams' team announced that she was canceling her upcoming public appearances due to ongoing health-related issues. This statement said, To allow Wendy time to quarantine and fully recover, and to ensure that our production abides by all SAG, AFTRA, and DGA COVID protocols, we expect to begin the 13th season of The Wendy Williams Show on Monday, October 4th. In the meantime, repeats will be scheduled. Earlier than that, the show said Williams would be stepping back from promotional activities, ahead of the season 13 premiere, which had originally be scheduled for September 20th due to ongoing health issues. Later, the show was delayed again from October 4th. A statement posted on Wendy's Instagram page saying, Wendy will not be returning with new shows on October 4th. Wendy has been and continues to be under a doctor's care and is still not ready to return to work. We plan to return with new shows on October 18th. The Wendy Williams Show had a brief return, with Wendy hosting from an apartment in New York. In December 2020, however, production was halted again, following Wendy's mother's death. A source close to her said, her breakthrough COVID case is no longer an issue, and she has tested negative, but she is still dealing with some unspecified medical issues. Williams has also battled various disorders over the last few years. She is battling an immune system disorder that dates back to 1999. She also passed out on live TV in 2017 during the show's Halloween episode, an incident that was attributed to dehydration. Wendy has been very vocal about her health in the past. She first told her viewers back in 2018 that she was diagnosed with the condition Graves Disease, which is an autoimmune disorder that causes an overactive thyroid resulting in an overabundance of thyroid hormone and symptoms like intense fatigue, trembling hands, and difficulty in sleeping. According to the National Institute of Health, there is no cure, but treatment can help manage the symptoms before they lead to serious health complications. In the past, the show has gone on extended breaks to safely treat her symptoms. In 2019, several guest hosts, including Nick Cannon, Jerry O'Connell, and Sherry Shepard, filled in for her as she stepped away to treat the disease. After she reported to People Magazine earlier in 2018 saying, I love doing the show, but I love myself more. So I'm going to take care of myself so I can be there for them. She further stated, It came from neglecting my six-month endocrinology appointment. I have Graves disease and hyperthyroid. If you have one, you don't need to necessarily wait for the other. But I have both and I was diagnosed with both 19 years ago. Well, there's been talks that Wendy Williams' illness might not be the only reason why she won't be returning to the show. Her methods and approach have often been questioned. It's a known fact that Wendy is the kind of woman who isn't scared from anyone, regardless of who or how events will turn out. Some of the major scandals and feuds on the show includes the moment when Wendy Williams spoke about Black China and her mom, Tokyo Tony, who come up on her television show. However, Black China lashed out at Williams for speaking her mind so openly via Instagram. She said, Wendy, you lost your mind. How dare you speak to me, my fiance, and my mom like you were at the Christmas table with us. I find it so funny how you love to talk about Rob and his insecurities like at a point in time, you weren't in a 400-pound B on the radio. She also made an insensitive comment over the death of a TikTok star, Matima Miller, who was killed tragically. 
On her show, she made a bizarre comparison of her followers and the TikTok star. While she was live on the show, she said, He's got more followers than me, 2.5 million. To make matters worse, she then shared information about the alleged killer's explanation, when there was no need to do so in front of a studio audience. These behaviors might be because of her ongoing health issues. Recently, video footage showed an exhausting-looking Williams arriving at her apartment building, wearing blue hospital socks escorted by her manager. The show host reportedly plans to address her current medical issues first, before returning to the Wendy Williams show. But for now, fans can rest assured that she's putting her health as a priority. However, there might be a backup plan if Williams cannot return anytime soon. According to a source, Nick Cannon might be a temporary replacement. A source told the outlet, the executives have been talking. They are keeping a close eye on Williams' recovery and hoping for the best. But they have pushed back the show premiere several times, so they are already thinking of a backup plan. The source continued, it would not be a far stretch for Nikana to take her time slot. To bar Mercury, which produces both Williams show and Nikana show, is really pushing to make Nikana a huge success. He already has a major platform and a huge fan base, so it isn't easy when a Wendy show ends up being a no-go. Their backup plan is already set. There have also been reports that the TV star has been struggling with addiction, leading up to her hospitalization for psychiatric issues. Her psychiatric hospitalization was the same day her show's Instagram account put out a statement about her COVID diagnosis. An insider from the show revealed, Wendy was drinking every day, even while filming the show. Although the daytime diva already opened up to her audience in April 2019, that she was struggling with her addictions and filing for divorce from Kevin Hunter after it was revealed that he had a baby with his mistress. Back then, she stated, I have to tell you, you know, I've been dealing with issues with addiction, alcoholism, and I have a whole new life that I plan for myself and my son. A source close to the Wendy Williams show exclusively reported that Wendy's staff are looking for new jobs. They don't believe she will ever come back. The insider also said that it's a tough spot for the people that work so hard on The Wendy Show, and that she's ruining the show for everyone. Well, who knows what's next for Wendy Williams and her show? Do you think Wendy Williams will return for the next season of the show? Let us know in the comments below. With that, it's time for us to say goodbye, but we will be back with more amazing celebrity videos. See you soon. Till then, be safe and stay well.